Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection June 17, 2021 Thursday The Thursday in the 11th week in Ordinary Time We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 to 11 Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ, but I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? Because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 111 verse 1 b to 2, 3 to 4 and 7 to 8 Let our response be, Your works, O Lord, our justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Response. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are His work, and His justice endures forever. He has won renown for His wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Response. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of His hands are faithful and just. Sure are all His precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Response. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Alleluia. Romans chapter 8 verse 15 BC. Alleluia, Alleluia. You have received spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 6 verse 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, 
your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Most religions share a common desire to reach the divine reality. Pagans attempt to reach it though their imagination alone. Christians reached it through interaction with the God who became not only a man, but more importantly our brother and our father. This interaction continues today through prayer. When a Jewish child is born, his father will take hold of him and whisper in his ear this prayer, Hear, O Israel the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. When a Christian child is born, his father should take hold of him and whisper in his ear, Our Father, this is our prayer par excellence because it best identifies who we truly are. It is the first prayer that many children learn. We should say it often because the Lord said it, used it and prayed it, and we should do the same. What is striking, absolutely unique, about this prayer is the beginning, Our Father. Even at the age of 33, the Lord continued to refer to His Father as Daddy. And although the Lord grew in wisdom, strength and age, His heart remained like that of a child and His will remained like that of steel. Today, during Mass, I asked the children if they remembered in Scripture when Jesus cried. One child said, while He was being crucified. Another, while he was being beaten. Another, when he saw his mother. No. Finally, one child said, when his best friend died. Correct. And maybe that is a lesson for all of us too. Just like the Lord. Maybe the only time we should ever cry is when we lose someone we love due to death. And when lose someone we love due to sin. The Lord hardly ever cried because he learned to trust in his father. One of the reasons why we cry a lot is because we never really learn to trust in our parents or in our Father. How did Jesus learn to trust? The hard way. He learned to trust by going out into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. He learned to trust by praying incessantly and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide His every word, every decision, and every move. He learned to trust by handing over His work his life to his heavenly father by saying over and over again thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and while he learned to trust he also learned how to live persevere and die our father god is our father creation is his glorious work and man is his masterpiece there can be no father without a mother and mary is our beloved mother in fact Nature should not even be referred to as nature but rather as creation since its only purpose is to provide for the Father's masterpiece. The Our Father places all things in their proper place, starting with God in heaven. All glory, all praise and worship to Him alone. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It is amazing what billions and billions of tiny raindrops can do, bring life on earth. It is amazing what the Word of God can do, bring life to the sinner. It is amazing what the saints in heaven can do, pray for all God's children. God's Word. God's people shall not return to him void. Give us this bread that came down from heaven. Give us forgiveness that comes down from heaven. And lead us not into temptation that comes from below. Do what your Father in heaven does. We know how to love because Christ taught us. We know how to forgive because Christ showed us. We know how to live because Christ is alive and well. Do as the Father does, allow heaven to reign on earth. Allow him to call you by name. Allow heaven to touch earth. Allow God to be God, and to shower his creation with his love and Holy Spirit. 
allow the Lord to bear fruit in all as creation and in all as children. Do not be like the others, who live and work for their own petty kingdoms.